Hi, so thank you so much for having an interest in my computer. It served me very well for a number of years. This is a netbook. It's an Acer Aspire 1 D260. Let's see if we can get this focused. All right, right here it says it has one gigabyte of memory. We have upgraded it to its maximum of two gigabytes of DDR2 memory for the RAM. Everything else is the same. It is, oh, it's already on the start screen. Windows 10 is awesome. So it is 250 gigabyte hard drive. However, you're going to have about 210 working gigabytes of memory. Now, because I had a factory reset this on my own, I did set a non-Microsoft account to this and the password is admin, all lowercase letters, to log in. If you would like to factory reset this one more time in order to have a clean start for yourself, you can do so. It took about, um, well, it, it took a number of hours to get all of my stuff off of it with the factory restart. After the factory restart was completed, it took about 15 to 20 minutes to turn the computer on for the very first time to go through the license agreement, user agreement, setting the time zone, etc., and then also setting a username and password. That took about 15, 20 minutes from the second I hit the button here to the time it got to this screen ready for me to enjoy Windows 10. So you can do that again, or you can simply go over here to the start menu and then you can go up to admin, change account settings, and this is where you can just sign in with their Microsoft account. I haven't done anything with this computer other than to open a news article to make sure everything was working well, and I went through the file explorer here just to make sure all of my files really were off of this computer, and there was, um, there was a folder left, but no files in this. Anyway, you can select here, sign in with a Microsoft account instead, and that will let you sign in with your Microsoft account, and everything will be tied in with your OneDrive. If you already own Office 365, it'll get tied in with that. Everything, uh, your mail, so if you hit start, you can see, where is this? This doesn't have a touch screen, by the way, because... It just doesn't. Um, it should be over here in all apps where there's the mail account, basically every single app that's on the computer. So every time, if you sign in with your Microsoft account, you see everything should be here. Your calendar, everything would be tied in pretty much Im immediately once you sign in here. Uh, if you decide you just really want to reset the computer, you go to settings from the start menu. You go over here to update and security. And then you go to recovery. You click get started on restart this PC. And you can choose keep my files or remove everything. Honestly, I think both of these are going to take the same amount of time because there are no personal files on this computer whatsoever. So that's that. Um, for those who are more technically inclined, I will be opening the task manager here. Just have to put it down for a second. Okay. So then you can see... This computer is a netbook. It is designed to do a few things at a time. So if you need to research through Microsoft Edge, or I think this computer is supposed to still have Internet Explorer. I am not sure. Let's see. Right now, Cortana is not technically enabled because I'm not signed in with a Microsoft account. Once you sign in with a Microsoft account, you can sign in with Cortana. What was I looking for? Internet Explorer. So we have Microsoft Edge. I don't know if Internet Explorer is included on this. My other computer 
still came with Internet Explorer. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, Microsoft Edge is really good. Honestly, I find it to be much better than Internet Explorer ever could have been. And then you can also go to get Google Chrome through Internet Explorer. Let's knock that to the side, and then we can knock this to the side. So you can just see how it's thinking here. Let's move this over. There we go. Thank you for welcoming to Microsoft Edge. So we're just gonna see what the computer does when we try to go to Chrome browser. I think it's gonna throw a fit at me <laughs> because they do not like Google. There we go. That was easy. I didn't expect Bing to have that at the uh, top of the search results since they're competitors. And then you can click here and download Chrome. So as you see, this the CPU uh, is down to 12 right now, but every time you do something, it jumps right back up. And that's because this is a netbook. It's designed to word process, research on the internet. I have edited movies, organized pictures, done a lot of Facebook and everything through this. And I believe I've also done Netflix through this. So... It can do all of that, but it's not your workhorse computer. This is the computer that you bring with you. This screen is a little oppressive. Okay. This is the computer that you bring with you on a trip. You can carry it to school. It's really quite tiny. For contrast, this laptop stand, this is the size of pretty much a standard workhorse laptop. So this is very nice, oops, nice and compact. Uh, oh, on the side here, I have a Bluetooth dongle. I will make sure, I will state whether or not the drivers are working for this Bluetooth dongle. I have not investigated that yet. I forgot about that because the computer itself didn't come with Bluetooth. In fact, you see this, this is a cover for the keyboard that I bought. And the keyboard cover actually has the Bluetooth symbol on it but the computer here does not. In fact, this is the Wi-Fi function. This is the Bluetooth function, but uh, F3 is the Wi-Fi function on this computer. So it did not come with Bluetooth. However, I was using the Bluetooth dongle and that is yours to keep. If, oh, I wanted to show how big the screen was. The screen... I guess it doesn't say. Oh, yeah, it does. 10.1 inches LED. Right there. Anyway, for contrast, this was the case I had been using for the computer. And that case per fitted it perfectly. And now houses my Surface tablet which is only slightly larger than the 